The racing season is almost upon us, and there is a track in Candy, Ojai County that is dominated by kids. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lordson shows us why the Atwater Speedway is celebrating 25 years with both excitement and heavy hearts. Everybody gets itchy about January, so this time of the year, the kids are excited to get going. It's a rite of spring in the town of Atwater. When the weather gets warm, the racers get racing. But at this track, the vehicle of choice is a go-kart, and most of the competition is too young for a driver's license. Usually, like, nervous and excited at the same time. When it's time to go, I get fired up and then go out and race. This youth movement began 25 years ago. That's when Greg Tower and others got the idea to open a competitive go-kart track. They got help from the city and the Lions Club and cleared out a spot on the edge of town. Well, it turned out way bigger than we ever thought it would be. We had our first year we had racers from Thunder Bay, Ontario and Nebraska. Competitors can be as young as five years old and kids are able to sign up for whichever race class suits them best. Oftentimes the entire race is neck and neck. The winners get trophies and sometimes money. It's very competitive. Yes, and uh, a lot of our kids have gone on uh, racing stock cars and um, my, my middle son actually, uh, he went on and he worked in the NASCAR industry for 14 years. Small town volunteers fuel these races, but a couple months ago, Atwater lost one of its best. Tasha Fester, a do-it-all volunteer and mother of three young racers, passed away unexpectedly. She was just 33 years old. Tasha was the kind of person that had 30 hours in her day. She got everything done. She took care of it all. She put her all into it. She just loved it. And I mean, racing was their life. Oh, no, no! I mean, above all, she was here for her kids. Um, cheering them on. She recorded every single one of their races. Indeed, that's Tasha's voice cheering on one of her sons. And that's why Outwater's 25th season will be dedicated to her. When you're coming around the corners, this one's a little bit wider, so you have more grip instead of just coming around with a smaller tire like that. Ten-year-old Tayden Freericks is hoping to take home his first checkered flag after a series of third-place finishes last season. This year, he's going full throttle. Spinning out can get fun, or it depends if you flip, then you're sitting there like this, and it's not very fun. Track maintenance also gets pretty creative, and it takes a village to make it happen. As one of the few remaining go-kart speedways left, the town and its racing families are looking forward to the next 25 years. There's a lot that goes into it that people don't see, and those people really help up, help step up and pick that up for us and make our job a lot easier. In Atwater, John Lordson, WCCO News. Atwater Karting Speedway will have 11 Saturday races this year, and the admission is free.